Alright yo guys, what is going on? Glitch guy here bringing you a tutorial on how to get your Mac operating system running on a Windows PC via virtual machine. It's not hard guys, I'm going to try and make this tutorial short, but have all the information you really need to get it started. I'm not going to be doing exactly step by step, because I do want to keep it short and I want to get to the basic stuff that's actually you guys will need to do on your own. That'll be hard. So guys, what we want to do first is, as you can see here, I'm on a Mac operating system. It operates exactly as a Mac. And um, but basically, guys, what you want to do here is you're gonna want to go minimize that. Um, and however, I'm gonna just suspend it right now because I don't want it on there. It'll it'll pop up here off here in a second. I'll click power off now, and now it'll disappear. But guys, what you want to do is uh, you're gonna need to get a few things first to get this running, guys. So basically, what you want to do is all those links will be in the description for all these things. But what you want to do is you want to download the Workstation Player 12 from VMware. Uh, you're gonna click try for free. It's a free program. You only need to buy it if you're going to use it for non-commercial use, which I, I mean, I don't know why you'd want to use it for that, but um, what you're going to do is you're going to download that, and uh, once you start downloading that and installing that, you instantly need to go to the media file link that I have in the description to download this file, this 7 gigabyte file that's going to take forever for you guys to download. I'm sad. Sadly, guys, there's not a fast way for you to do this. It's going to take time. It'll take a lot of time. Um, but that's just what you got to do to get this virtual machine running. Um, if you'd rather go buy a $2,000 Mac or whatever, or however much those things are nowadays, you can do that. But uh, I wanted it for free, so I'll wait. So I'll wait a little bit for 7 gigabytes to download. But um, anyways, guys, once you have those downloaded, you're gonna want to install VMware. It's gonna ask you to put in your email. Put in your email, a real email. It doesn't matter uh, if you want to put it in a real or fake. I put in my real. They do not spam your emails. They haven't sent me anything over to the email yet, and I haven't gotten any spam. So I'm fine with it. Just so you guys know. Anyways, what you want to do now is once you have it installed and you run it, run it for one time. Just to make sure that it's working and functioning, make sure this pops up. It won't have the L Captain yet, but make sure it pops up. When you guys download your Mac stuff, what you want to do is uh, when you download the Mac RAR, the 7 gigabyte file, um, if my uh, the file explorer will load for some reason, it's not loading. Um, I don't know what's up with that, but here we go. Now, what you guys want to do is go to. Um, t -t 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 I have it on my D drive labeled as Mac. So what you want to do then is you're going to put your RAR in there and you're going to extract your RAR into this folder. Now guys, extracting the RAR is going to take a, quite a bit of time. It is a 6 to 7 gigabyte file, so it does not go quickly. It takes time. But once you have that done, guys, you're going to get this folder called the Unlocker. You're going to open up Unlocker, close out of your VMware when you have it open like that. Go to Unlocker. And then go to Windows Install. Double click Windows Install and let it run. It's going to pop up a command prompt. It's basically going to set up your VMware for the Mac operating system that we're going to be installing. Once you do that, guys, you're going to go back to your Mac folder. And then you'll want to make sure you have your uh, your virtual disk file here. Um, you should have it. It should be in the RAR when you extract it. At this point, you're going to want to open up VMware. Um, and you will not have El Captain yet, but we're going to get that in, your, in there right now, guys. What you want to do is you go to Player file open and when you go to file open navigate to your Mac folder like I am here and then you'll see the OSX L Captain virtual machine disk you can double click that it'll put it in here and before we even get this booty guys what I want to do is show you guys a trick so you guys can get this um, this Pokemon when you get to the actual hacking of the Pokemon Go and putting in that menu you guys won't have a hard time having any questions so what you're gonna do guys is you're gonna go to edit virtual machine once you do that, you want to go down. You don't have to edit any of this, guys. It's, I left it at default, and I have had no problems with it, so I don't really, I don't mess with it. But you are going to want to go to USB controller. Now, I can't edit mine right now because my PC, my virtual machine is only in suspended mode, so it's still technically on. But what you guys want to do is you're going to have USB compatibility. It probably will be a default 3.0. Now, if you have a USB 3.0 port on your PC, and that's what your phone's plugged into, then you shouldn't have any issues. However, I have a 2.0 port, so I had to edit it mine to 2.0. Check all of these, um, and then once you do that, guys, you just want to click OK, and then you're going to launch up your virtual machine, guys. Remember, it will take some time. This is not a Mac. This is a virtual machine, so it will take. It will be a little bit slower, but it still has all the functionality and everything you need. It's not totally slow. It's just a little bit slower, guys. But what you're going to do is you're going to launch up your Mac, and uh, you should see all these removable devices pop up. Hopefully, your phone's in this list. Mine's not right now. My phone's not plugged in. But I'm just showing you guys for sake of the video. Anyways, what you guys want to do after that, once you have it, your phone plugged into your computer, um, you're going to go over to virtual, you're going to go over to player, removable devices, and you should see your iPhone here on this list, but once you do that, you're going to go over to it and click connect. This will disconnect it from the PC and connect it to the virtual machine, meaning that the virtual machine is now seeing it and it's now reading onto the virtual machine. Your iTunes will probably pop up 
and so it will start syncing onto, your, onto the uh, Mac if you want it to. You can just hit cancel. But then at that point, you're ready to install Xcode and get onto the tutorial of getting the mod menu in the game. I'll have an annotation um, at the end of this video and a link in the description for that video. But guys, remember, everything you need is in the description, all the links, check out the social medias, all that stuff like that. I hope you guys did enjoy the video, and I hope to see you guys in the next video, and I might have another video coming out pretty soon with some more Pokemon Go tricks and information for you guys if you need it. So, see you guys till the next one. Thanks again.